Hi, I'm Specialist Craig Brown. From, I'm 21 years old from Fairfield, Ohio. This is the ACUs. This is what we normally wear. It's the Army Combat Uniform. It has some cool little features to it. Everything's Velcro. Uh, you got a pocket for your pen. You can fit three pens in here. Everything has pockets on it. There's pocket here. There's two chest pockets. And there's another pocket on this side. Um, when you come to the pants, you've got regular pants pockets, which normally people carry a knife or your cigarette, something like that. And there's two cargo pockets. I've got a wallet on this one and like a book in here so I can write any information down. And then there's two small pockets on each side of the bottom. We keep a uh, new tourniquet in these pockets, the quick tourniquet. So you can do self aid or buddy aid very easily with that. That's most of the things that a normal infantryman will do. And then we got the uh, boots, normal combat boots. Got a fair bit of tread on the bottom, pretty comfortable. Um, next thing you would go to put on is the IOTV. Or the, yeah, the IOTV, it's the improved outer tactical vest. It has a, a plate in the front to get to it. It's really tricky to get to. You got to open up inside here. There's a uh, there's a couple layers you got to go through because it's got Kevlar in it as well. There's a, a Kevlar pad in the front and the back that looks like that. It wraps around. It's got wings on it and everything, and it all velcros in. And then there's a flap inside. There's another flap like this, and that's where the actual. Uh, police of armor goes and there's a strap that wraps around to hold that in place there's one on uh, both sides and then there's also these the side pad it's got Kevlar in it as well and it's all velcro there's there's Kevlar all around it and then a little plate like that on each side to protect your sides This whole setup, the vest itself weighs about 30 pounds. If I can get it back in there. And then we have the, uh, the top has some pieces for the neck, around the neck area and the throat. These are Kevlar pieces as well. There's a throat piece here. And then uh, the neck piece that goes around the sides. That's built in with this one where the old one it wasn't. It's kind of a, a lot easier to use this way because it, it moves with you instead of separate pieces. So the whole vest is uh, is one piece. Just put it on like that. And then there's a, uh, a Velcro strap that goes around your waist. Looks like that. So you just Velcro it up around your actual body. That keeps you... Uh, it keeps you supported a little better. It keeps a lot of the weight off your shoulders. And then you take the, the side pieces, the kidney covers, and put them under here with that piece and secure it like that each side. And put that on. Uh, from there, you would put on the flick. This is an ammo holder, amongst other things. Put your flick on and what I try to do with the saw pouches because it's a lot of weight is sit them up as high as possible and then there's a strap in the back that you just snap into place and what we have here is 200 rounds for the saw on each extremity and then 100 round ones and then this is the uh, the IFAC it holds all of our self self-aid buddy aid stuff in it really neat little piece it's got a tourniquet in it as well this new new style tourniquet and we've got just just some gauze tape some rubber gloves stuff like that things that uh we, we could use real real quick until the medic gets there so that's on the vest as well And then there's additional pouch everybody has on them where you put your knots in. The knots look like this. They come in two pieces, uh, 
it's used for seeing at night. We just have a real easy way to get to them. So they're always on you, just in case you don't expect to be out there longer, but wind up being out there at night. And that snaps like that, and then we always have a carabiner on it so you can attach it to it or your helmet. Uh, from there, put on your nice Mitch helmet. Snaps up. And then we have uh, our flame retarded gloves as well. All oh, the ACUs are flame retarded as well. So, put on our gloves. And then we have the standard Oakley iPro that the Army issues us. They're ballistic, so they'll stop shrapnel and 9mm bullets. And that's it. It wraps around. This is the uh, complete standard uniform. It's approximately all my gear, it's about 75 pounds. And then you add in the weapon, which I personally carry, a saw. And this is another 16 pounds for a whopping total of approximately 90 pounds.